Hey guys, and today I'm back with four board game inspired nail art designs. And I love playing board games. So when I saw that at Nail Shop Challenge on Instagram was doing a board game nail art challenge, I had to give it a try. And I couldn't take part at the same time as everybody else, so I'm posting mine a little bit late. But I really wanted to join in and give it a go, so I hope you enjoy. So the first many I have for you is my Scrabble nails, and I love the way these came out. So I started off by painting all of my nails with two coats of kryptonite from Picture Polish and it is a gorgeous dark green with hollow flakies in. Next with my Moe London Holy Shape 17 plate and a white stamping polish I stamped the check checkered box pattern and I left them on the stamper and I did this four times. However, note from experience, you're better off stamping each decal as you go along otherwise your stamps end up drying and cracking so it doesn't stamp nicely but you'll see what I mean later on so just do it one at a time so first we're working on the middle and ring fingers and these are the nails with the word tiles on uh, using a light beige polish I filled in a few squares so it looked like a cross and on the other nail I did an L shape just so the little tiles look like they join along as they would, you know, on a scrabble board. Then with a yellow and a blue polish, I filled in a few of the extra squares where you get like the double points when you play scrabble. And again, I did the same with the other decal. And then leaving them aside to dry, I applied a layer of sticky base coat on my middle and ring fingers. And I just waited for that to go tacky. And once the decals were sort of dry, I stamped them on my nails. And you can see what I mean by the white polish starting to crack a little bit. So to clean up I used my metal tool just to cut the remaining pieces of decal off. And then with a brush and acetone I cleaned my skin. And now with my Moe London Typography 04 stamping plate. Which has all these different size letters on like an eye test. I stamped the letters that I wanted with a black stamping polish and here I had to figure out what words I wanted to put on my scrabble nails and it was difficult because the size of the letters I wanted to use on my plate it didn't have the whole alphabet so I struggled to create words in the end up for the middle finger I went for soup and hop because I like chicken noodle soup and I needed a three letter word with an O in the middle so that's what happened and what you can see is off camera, every time I stamp, I'm using sellotape to remove the letters that I don't need. It just makes it easier for positioning that you don't get random letters on your nails. And because I'm using a clear stamper, I can see exactly where I'm putting those letters in the little box shapes that we filled in. So for the other nail, I went with the words boo and knob because I think the word knob is actually hilarious, especially when cooking, you know, like a knob of butter. It's like, what sort of measurement is that? <laughs> if you know, please tell me. And boo because I needed a three letter word that ended in B, began with B I mean. So I went with boo because I like Halloween and I googled it and it actually is a real word. So you probably would accept it in Scrabble. I don't know. Would you, would you accept it? Now for the index and pinky fingers, similar to what we've already done, but this time there's no words, just the game board. So I painted the red squares that you get on the edges of the Scrabble board, and then I filled in some more with yellow and blue like we did on the other nails. same again I waited for those decals to dry and at the same time I applied a sticky base coat and once that was tacky and the decals were dry I stamped them on my nails and these ones you can see that they cracked really really badly because I waited so long for them to dry and so off camera I just fixed the lines with a detail brush and a white stamping polish I didn't do it on camera because it's hard to film and then once that was all dry I applied a layer of glossy top coat There you go my scrabble nails and I can tell you now that these are my favourite that I've done for this video. 
the next design I'm painting for you is my Monopoly nails and I think these look like absolute trash I hate them so much but here they are <laughs> there are so many better Monopoly nail designs online that people have painted these amazing artists that can freehand but go check those out <laughs> But anyway, I started off by painting my nails with three coats of Mexico Move Mint from OPI and I think this colour is probably the best part about this Manny and I have no idea why it looks like grey on screen. In real life it's a soft mint green. To create the Monopoly Man, I used my Moyu London Lingo 01 stamping plate and I stamped the little top hat. And because the top hat had words written on it, I kept it on the stamper and I just filled in those words with black polish so it just looked like a black top hat when I was done. And I left that to dry for a few seconds and at this point my base was still pretty sticky so I just stamped that hat straight onto my middle nail. And then with my Mary London Hipster 02 plate, I stamped the handlebar moustache in black and then leaving it on the stamper again, I filled it in with black. It was after I painted this Manny that I realised the Monopoly Man has a white moustache. So the Manny was destined to fail anyway. So if you were going to try this, you could paint it white if you want. But once that had dried, I just stamped it underneath the top hat. Next with my Moe London Time Traveller Back to the 50s 01 plate. I stamped the telephone with a red polish and I just stamped that telephone straight on my index finger. Now for the pinky finger I painted a question mark for the chance cards uh, using acrylic paint. It was then that I realised because I was painting this in front of a camera and it was upside down I painted the question mark backwards. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> but I did fix it off camera. Now for the ring finger, I'm painting the go sign, and since this Manny has already been going so well, I say sarcastically, I decided to apply a layer of glossy top coat and let that dry, just so if I did make any mistakes, I could just scratch it off. So after 20 minutes, I painted the go sign with acrylic paint, which is literally just an arrow at the bottom, and then I wrote go on top of it. To finish off this monstrosity of a nail art, I applied a smudge resistant top coat, but there was still a little bit of black polish on my top coat brush from a previous Manny, so it smudged on my nails. <laughs> so this, oh, I hate these nails. <laughs> and yeah, there you go, my Monopoly nails. <laughs> Moving on to my battleship design, and I do like the way these came out. So I've started off with painting my middle and ring finger with If the Raven Leaves the Tower from A England which I describe it as a gunmetal blue linear hollow. And then with my Moe London Literature 04 plate, it's the Around the World in 80 Days themed plate, I stamped the big ship with a white polish, and I stamped that onto my middle finger. Now I'm creating the board game. So for this, I'm back with the Moe London Holy Shape 17 plate from the first Manny, and stamped another box pattern with a white falcon polish and I stamped that straight onto my ring finger. Then with a silver polish I painted a little pea pod shape just for the boat game pieces. And then with a red polish and a dot and tool I just made a few dots to make it look like that the ship had been sunk if you know how to play the game with the little pieces on top of it. Next, for the index and pinky fingers, I painted with two coats of Forget Me Not from Picture Polish, which is this nice powder blue, and it has that Picture Polish hollow flaky formula that I love. And then back with the dot and tool and a red and white polishes, I created these abstract dots, where I just imagined that these were the little pieces that people placed on the board that they missed, they didn't find any boats. And I finished all of these off with a layer of smudge resistant top coat. My final nail design for you is Cluedo nails. I know some countries call it Clue, but in the UK we call it Cluedo, so that's just what I'm going to call it. And this was my favourite board game to play as a child. We had the Simpsons one when I was growing up, and we loved to play that one. I was always Lisa. <laughs> And I had to admit that this was the hardest one to come up with the design for. 
So I went with how you play the game. You've got to figure out who the murderer is and the weapon and the room they were murdered in. So I went with that Mrs. Peacock was the murderer and she used a gun as the weapon and the victim she killed was in the library. So now I've explained my chaotic way of thinking, here's how I painted these nails. So I started off by painting all of my nails except my ring finger with black and this is one coat black from Hollow Taco. And then using my Mojo London comic book 03 plate and a white stamp and polish, I stamped the gun and the handprints that go with it. And I've used this gun quite a few times in my Black Widow nails and my Killer Bride nails, so go check them out if you want. Uh, leaving that gun on the stamper, I filled in the base of the gun with a dark brown polish. And then I painted the rest with a silver polish. I left that aside to dry whilst I applied a layer of sticky base coat to my index finger. And once that was tacky, I just stamped the gun on my nail. Back with the same comic book 03 plate, I stamped the outline of a dead body with a white polish. And then I just stamped that on my middle finger. Now with my Moe London Scholar 02 plate, I stamped the collection of books in white. And this is for the library aspect of the design. Keeping it on the stamper, I filled in the books with a few colours such as a light beige for the ones that were backwards that you could see the paper. Because you know old paper goes a bit brownish. And then a red, blue and a mushroomy brown shade, I painted the rest of the spines of the books. And again, I just left that aside to dry while I applied a layer of sticky base coat. And I stamped that onto my pinky finger. For the final now, I'm painting the murderess herself, Mrs. Peacock. So for this, I painted my ring finger with this metallic blue from Moe London called Peacock Blue, which is very fitting. And then with my Moe London Time Traveller back to the 20s 01 plate, I stamped the Flapper Girl Feathered Headband. And I wanted it to look like a peacock feather, so I left it on the stamper and I filled it in with Mermaid from Barry M, which is just these gold, blue and green glitter flakies in a clear base. One last time I applied a layer of sticky base coat to my nail and then I stamped that on once it had dried. Then with the same plate and a white polish I stamped the pearl necklace and I just stamped that underneath the headband. To finish off these nails, I applied a layer of smudge resistant top coat. And there you go, my Cluedo nails. So there you go, my four board game inspired nails for the at nail shop challenge on Instagram. I hope that watching this, you feel inspired to either paint your own or go play a board game. I hope you like these designs. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Also tell me what your favorite board game is. I'd love to know. Feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe would be good. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.